Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be another foundation review, my favorite videos. We're gonna be testing out the brand new Marc Jacobs Shameless Youthful Look 24 Hour Foundation. I'm super excited to be trying this one out because I've heard so many different reviews on this. So I'm excited to see how this is gonna work on my very oily skin. I'm gonna be doing an eight to 10 hour wear test with this foundation on my skin today and just seeing how it wears throughout the day and if I get any separation or oiliness or anything like that, which are my main concerns concerns when trying out a foundation. And I'm also gonna be applying it and giving you guys my first impressions. So yeah, if you guys wanna know how this foundation works out for me, then just keep on watching. Okay, so here is what she looks like. This is kind of a strange squeezy tube, kind of a bottle. I've never seen something like this. I was expecting it to be glass just because it was almost $50. But anyways, I got the shade Light Y270. I have no idea if it's gonna match me because I did purchase this online. But this is supposed to be a medium coverage foundation with a natural finish and it's also supposed to wear for 24 hours which we won't be doing <laughs> it's oil free it has a buildable coverage and there's also an SPF of 25 in here which at first when I saw that I was a little bit worried because sometimes when foundations have SPF in them they cause a really bad flashback in flash photography so I was a little bit worried about that but I read on the website a little bit and I'm just gonna summarize what it says here but it basically says it has a new technology that excuse me, encapsulates the SPF in pigment so that there isn't gonna be a flashback or any ashy and gray tones with the foundation. It also says it's a weightless foundation. It blends seamlessly. It has phenomenal hydration because it contains snow mushroom, which is known for its ability to hold on to water. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, it was $46. You get 1.08 fluid ounces in here. So just a little bit more than the average foundation. And if I'm counting right, there is 25 shades that they come out with and just judging by the pictures online looks like a pretty good shade range so let's just get right into trying this out I'm gonna do this how I do all of my other foundation reviews we'll do a beauty blender on one side and then a brush on the other just to see which way I like to apply it better and then I'm also gonna be wearing a primer on only half of my face so the primer I'm using is the dr. Brandt pores no more primer I love this primer so I'm just gonna be putting this on the right side of my face and we'll see if this makes any difference in the wear of the foundation or just the way it looks on my skin. Okay, so while I let that primer sink in, I'm gonna work on the other side of my face and I just squirted some on the back of my hand. Okay, so I'm just starting with a few dots and then I'm gonna use my beauty blender on this side to start blending this out. Okay, it blends out really, really easily. There's not much coverage to it. It didn't even cover up my acne hardly at all. So I just picked up a little bit more on my sponge and I'm gonna go over this to try and build that up. Okay, so it is covering up a little bit more, but I can definitely still see a lot of the redness here but I'm gonna move on and build that up a little bit later on. I do like this though. Even though it's not covering up my acne, I think it looks really pretty on the skin. It looks very soft and smoothed out. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. My lighting is going crazy right now because the sun is like setting and there's clouds and so it keeps changing my lighting. Okay, so, so far this is just with one layer and I think it looks pretty good. It did even out the majority of my redness on my cheek area. The only thing that I'm seeing is my acne down here. It is creasing in my smile line right here already but that usually happens before I set my foundation um, it's not grabbing on any of my texture I think it looks really natural so while I'm building this up it isn't picking up the foundation that was already on my face which actually happens a lot to me if I try and build a foundation up so this is nice that it's even allowing me to build it up. Okay, so that's as much as I'm gonna put on. I don't wanna put any more on because it is starting to look a little bit heavy in this area right here, kind of where my smile lines are. Let's move on and do the other side of my face with a brush now and just see if I like it applied better with a brush. The brush I'm using is a Sigma F80 brush. This is my favorite foundation brush to use. No, I don't like this with a brush. Definitely not. Yeah, I don't like it with a brush. So I'm gonna move back to the Beauty Blender. It looks almost like cakey with the brush, which is really weird because I usually prefer blending out my foundation with a brush, but this one is just not, not agreeing with that. So I'm gonna go back in with my Beauty Blender and hopefully fix that. 
I was just kind of grabbing on a lot of my texture and I do have a little bit of dryness on my cheek area right now, but that's on both sides and this one was just enhancing it a lot more. So I definitely prefer this with a sponge. Another thing is that I feel like I'm using kind of a lot and that might be just because I'm trying to build it up to get a little bit more coverage. But I mean, if you're someone who likes full coverage foundations, you might not like this because you do have to use quite a bit of it just to build it up and not even to full coverage. It's doing some funny stuff right now. I feel like it's getting really clumped up right here. I'm gonna zoom you guys in too after I'm done blending all this out. Okay, so we are gonna stop there. And so far what I'm noticing is the finish does look really nice, but the longer it's sitting on my skin, I'm noticing that it's kind of, it's looking heavy right here and then right here. So I just feel like it's starting to look pretty dry and a little bit cakey. So what I'm gonna do is finish up the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like on my skin after I set my face down and put the rest of my products on and let you guys know how everything worked on top of it. So I will be right back. Okay, I forgot to show you guys up close. So here is what my forehead looks like up close and zoomed in. You can't really tell what I'm talking about unless I scrunch my brows together like that. See where it gets very, kind of just like really Okay, so I just finished up the rest of my makeup and I'm liking this foundation a lot more now. I feel like my face looks way softer. It doesn't look heavy anywhere anymore. It is still creasing just a tad in this smile line over here. Um, it's not really creasing in my chin line anymore. It just looks a lot better. When I put my makeup on over top of it, I was having a little bit of trouble with my bronzer, only on my forehead though, which is really weird. It wasn't happening on my cheeks, but just for my bronzer, I feel like it was just getting a little bit patchy and I used the Marc Jacobs Tantric Bronzer, which I use every single day and it is like impossible to get to patchy bronzer when you use this. So that was one thing that I was noticing. Um, it did buff out, obviously. I don't think it looks patchy anymore. Otherwise, everything else went over top of it really smoothly. Everything blended out nicely and I think it looks really good right now. So I'm really excited to see how long this foundation is gonna last on my skin. Right now, it is currently 4.33, but I actually finished my makeup probably, I wanna say a little bit over a half hour ago. So we'll just call time at four o'clock. My microphone died and I had to wait for it to charge. But yeah, so I'll check back in in a few hours, probably like four hours and just see where we're at and how it's holding up on my skin. And then I'll have my final check-in at the very end of the day, hopefully at about eight to 10 hours. I usually like to try I make it. So I think that's all I have to say. So I will go ahead and zoom you guys in now so you guys can see what it's looking like up close. Okay, so here we are zoomed in a little bit and you can see my skin. I mean, I think at least it looks a lot softer than it did before. I don't remember if I just said this or not, but it is still creasing a little bit in this smile line over here and just looking a little bit dry. The apples of my cheeks look a lot better than they did before. I feel like my pores look a lot more smoothed out and just shrunken down and they don't look so enhanced. My forehead looks amazing. A million times better. It's not clumping up at all in the center here anymore. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good right now. It is pretty matte on my skin, so it does look a little bit more dry than I'm used to, but maybe when my natural oils start to come through the foundation a little bit, it won't look as dry. So I will see you guys in a few hours when I check in. Okay guys, so I'm back home now and I'm so sad because I brought my vlog camera with so I could do a check-in at the four or five hour mark and my vlog camera was dead, of course. But right now it is 12, 17 in the morning, so it's been exactly eight hours and I think it looks pretty good right now. I'm not really getting oily. The only place that I'm noticing a shine is my forehead mainly. A little bit in the corners of my nose, but nothing major. It still is creasing a little bit in my smile lines over here and still does look a little bit dry, but I don't think it's that bad. And it is creasing a tiny bit in my chin line. So once my natural oil started to come through the foundation, it looked a lot better. And I really wish I would have had my camera to show you guys. For that first half of the day, I think it looked really, really pretty on my skin. Once my natural oils came through because it didn't look so dry. So the good thing about this is I am getting a little bit oily right now, but it's not separating one bit, which is amazing. And for it being eight hours too, that's actually a really long time. That's like a full work day. And sometimes I'm oily 
it within an hour. So I think it's doing pretty good oil-wise. It is caking up a little bit in the sides of my nose and kind of in the center of my forehead where it is starting to get oily. Um, my forehead, I would say, probably looks the worst out of everything. I guess my chin looks a little bit dry. It does transfer a little bit, but I don't really touch my face that much, but yeah, when I touch it, it definitely is transferring onto my fingers. I am still gonna keep this on for a couple more hours. I just wanna see how long this will last on my face and what it's gonna look like, so I will check in one more time. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and zoom you guys in now. <laughs> okay, so this is what it's looking like up close. You guys can probably see my forehead where it's getting a little bit more oily. It also did come off on the acne on my chin. I can definitely see the redness and it does look a little bit dry down there. So it is creasing in my smile line and my chin line, but it's not separating in those creases. So I think that's all I have to say about it for this check-in. Again, I will be back in a couple hours just for fun to see how long it lasts. But for eight hours, I think it looks pretty good. If you compare this to some of my other foundation reviews, this looks amazing compared to them. Okay, so it is now 3 a.m. So it's been 11 hours total. So in those past three hours, it has definitely gotten worse. I've definitely seen my skin a lot more oily than this. But since the last time I've checked in, it has separated and transferred. So this foundation definitely does not live up to the 24 hour wear that it claims. You can definitely see a lot of patchiness, a lot of places where the foundation has just completely come off. Everything just looks really dry right now. So I'll zoom you guys in quick so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I just dimmed my lights down too. So hopefully you can see this mess on my forehead. It just looks really aged, really dry. It's coming off in these patches right here. It's separating in this whole area right here and it's settling in these lines and it, my forehead looks so bumpy and so textured and my forehead usually does not look this bad. Yeah, I think the lower part of my face looks pretty bad too now. It's just separating so much and it is transferring so, so easily too. So even though I don't like the way it looks right now, it has been 11 hours and at the eight hour mark, I did like the way it was looking. I will be wearing this foundation again, but of course I'm not gonna wear it if I have to have it on for a long period of time. I probably only wear it for six hours, eight hours at the very most, cause right after that is right when it started getting all uh, funky like this. I really hope this video helped you guys out if you guys were thinking about getting this foundation. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.